welcome Sagittarius to your end of the month reading for October. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. This reading will go on until about November 3rd. Okay, so. Okay, so it'll be from the end of the month to the beginning of the month. Straight in here to your energy of what you were thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. And please, friends, if you like this, please hit the like button to grow our channel a little in uh, popularity. Okay. Halloween is coming up. I hope you guys have a great Halloween. Okay. The Emperor coming up. Saying you're standing your ground and you're standing firm about a situation. Completely taking all the control. Which is funny, I just cut the deck and there it is. Stand your ground. Funny. That's going to be at the end of the deck, right? For a second. Okay. So yeah, definitely talking about standing your ground. Spirit really wants us to know that. Okay, so let's clarify on this. If that comes back up, that's going to be crazy. Nope, it's power. Nice. So saying you are definitely in, in charge. Yeah, that's definitely what that is. I'm standing my ground and being in charge. Feeling like you're in charge of the situation. Let's see what's going on over here. There's a seriousness going on over here. You're very serious about this situation. Okay. So what are we serious about? So getting into the situation, the situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, and the near future. Why is such so... I don't know, but in the, the present, somebody is offering services. Huh. Could be a Capricorn or a Virgo. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, I see where this is going. Broken Promises. Oh. Some broken promises and then some a little bit of confusion going on in the Seven of Cups in the near future. So it, it, it's like you had promises over here, and it feels like this person has broken these promises. It feels like this person over here, or this I'm going to call it Capricorn for now, um, unless I see otherwise. But it does feel like they have broken a promise that they have made to you, and now you are standing your ground and being very serious about the situation and taking power, maybe even taking power back. There it is. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Trying to manipulate a situation. It feels like they were trying to manipulate the situation with you. It feels like they broke a promise that they had, you had entrusted with them, um, allowing the tower to crumble. They were irresponsible with the king of wands upside down, so it shows some kind of immaturity. Um, maybe, like I said, manipulating the problem situation. Hey, I know I didn't do what I told you I was going to do, but huh. you see them as irresponsible, that's for sure. So how did you get to this seriousness over here? That's what I want to know. <laughs> how did you get so serious? Knight of Wands. Oh, they're just messing around. You swiftly got back in control. I see what's going on. If they promise to do something for you, like mow the lawn, do something like this, it could be just as simple as that. Um, it's like they've been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. Look, easiest way to explain this is like, yeah, mom, I'll get to it, but I'm playing video games. And they just keep doing it, so you're swiftly jumping into action to get done what they keep saying they're going to do. So you're taking the reins and taking back the control um, of the situation. Yeah, as they just con continue over here as kind of an escape artist, escaping their responsibilities. Um, yeah, I see that. So you're taking the control and the power back over the situation um, since they're so irresponsible and can't seem to get it done. Um, how frustrating is that? Um, huh. Yeah, with the King of Wands over here, I see that as you as being very frustrated 
almost to the point where you might not even be able to trust them anymore at this point um, in the near, or, excuse me, the recent past because they just keep letting you down. Um, now all of a sudden, we have, and it feels like, we could be dealing with an earth sign or a Gemini or an Aquarius or a Libra, <clears throat> an air sign. They're coming to service and this is making them sad. What? Okay, they're sad now. Guilty conscience. Guilty conscience because they see you taking the... Okay, so it's like this. If they see you outside, Sag, mowing the lawn that they're supposed to be mowing, they have a guilty conscience. And this is making them kind of sad because the only sadness is, is oh no. Mom, dad's out there mowing the lawn. Of course, if it's, you know, this is the story I, I'm coming up with. It doesn't have to be your story. You just throw that away and use your own. But it's kind of like that situation, though, right? It's like they now see you taking the reins. So now they want to come jump to the service and say, hey, would you like me to help you? Well, of course, it's a, if it's your kid or something, you're going to be like, yeah, uh, why don't you start raking some leaves, right? And putting them in the bag since you decided to uh, put the controller down for a second, you know? Decided to get out of, uh, you know, zombie land over there. It's something you didn't see coming because why would you even assume that they would want to come to the rescue? Why would you even assume that they would have a guilty conscience of wanting to step up and actually do something when they just kept dropping the ball, dropping the ball, don't want to do this? Yeah, I'm challenging you. Now that's crazy. Now here's that standing your ground. You are standing your ground taking the power. You are standing your ground kind of against them in some ways um, because they have really put you into a challenge mode for not doing what they were supposed to be doing. There was no good communication coming out of this, right? We never unified to this. Why would I even assume that you'd want to come and help me? So now all of a sudden they want to come back and be of service now that you've actually started the situation of course right so this has got you kind of in confusion why are you confused because in the near future it's saying i'm confused right so all of this has happened here they come to the rescue of their own job <laughs> to the rescue of their own job and now they have you in confusion separation They're kind of get, trying to get away from their own guilty conscience um, and trying to offer uh, retaliation. They want to kind of, you know, cycle around this. They're they're trying to tell you, oh, yeah, you know, I would like to be of service to, to you. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. As they keep watching you take control over here and be the powerhouse that you are, Sag, the more they feel really guilty about the situation. So now they're trying to say and offer you uh, this uh, retribution in its own way. Um, and this kind of, um, they're kind of, they were kind of like, it's, it's a reconcile of its own self without really apologizing, right? Instead, what they're doing is they're jumping in to help, um, do things. So if we're talking about a teenager or a young adult, um, like your kids, all of a sudden they're going to be jumping in, grabbing that trash, uh, before you can grab it. Uh, you know, things like this, it's got you confused because you're saying what happened? Well, what happened was they have a guilty conscience because they don't really want to make you mad. Um, they're trying to keep the integrity above them. They're realizing that their integrity is at risk. And it doesn't matter really if this is, you know, who this is. They feel their integrity is at risk because now they're, they're looking bad in your eyes. And if you have to get up and do it and actually, and because of the seriousness and the serious mode that you're in where you're not taking no more crap, they are seeing this. Wow. So they're persistently moving um, constantly, persistently, it's almost like, no, it's okay, dad, I totally got the trash. And you're like, oh my God, what happened? You threw the controller down. It, it must be an amazing day. The pigs must have flew. You know what I mean? So, but you're seeing it, and it doesn't matter if it's a coworker who kept tra dropping the ball. It doesn't matter who it is. And this is what you're seeing. Um, how long does it last? Not sure, but they want to be more supportive about the situation. They do have some fear, though. Maybe they're, maybe you're the boss. No matter how you're going to see it, you're probably some kind of boss, whether you're mom, your dad, you're the boss, you're the key person at work, 
general manager, assistant manager, this manager, that manager, it doesn't matter, um, top dog. They fear for their own, right, their own placement, right? Let's put it that way. Because let's put it this way, if you're a coworker and you, you keep picking up their their uh, dirty work, right, and doing their job, but sooner or later the boss is going to see it. Sooner or later they're afraid you might go to the boss and say something. Yeah, they're worried for their own um, job, for their own everything, no matter how you want to see it. So they're trying to change the cycle to show you this because, yeah, because they know they're guilty of this. Look at that page of coins upside down. I am guilty of this. It is, it probably is a Capricorn or a Virgo for a lot of you. And they are guilty. So they're trying to take a more mature outlook. They want you to see them as being more mature, more fit for the job, um, in more in control um, instead of just this lazy person. Wow. It's, it's so all of a sudden it becomes this kind of fear base that maybe, you know, you're going to get into trouble somehow or another. So they're kind of saving their own butt, let's put it that way, because they're realizing, uh-oh, now that you're so serious and you're really in control and in power, you know, the crap's going to hit the fan. Um, so they have to, they're trying to pick up the broken pieces is what they're doing. And yeah, it's confusing you because you're saying, really? After all of this? Look, you promised you were going to do this here. Could even be a family member, you know, a different one. Maybe it's your sister or somebody. And all of a sudden they want to offer you that ride everywhere you go because they're afraid you're not going to um, maybe offer the help and support that you do, right? So take it how it resonates, but boy, what a turnaround. I, it's confusing in itself because as I see it playing out, I can see them kind of rushing around going, oh no, you know, because it feels like to me with whoever this might be, um, there could be a lot of generosity as well. You know what I mean? Hey, would you like me to kick you out of the house or would you like me to continue to buy you clothes? <laughs> you know, or those video games or do you want me to tell the boss what you're doing or, you know, do you want me to keep taking you to work? Um, you know, because I can just stop taking you to work if you don't want to help me um, you know, with whatever it was that you're supposed to help me with. Okay. So let's see over here what we got. So the daily healing cards let's just see what kind of message we have over here best message for sag to keep them calm so make that emperor not go upside down right now i don't see the emperor upside down i do see the frustration of the king of wands but otherwise i don't see you like totally 100 ticked off if anything i think you're more disappointed than anything avoid hateful thoughts as they are just as hurtful as physically striking someone. So if they do get to the point where they do completely piss you off, um, just remember, keep your cool, right? Try to avoid, har <laughs> avoid harmful influences. Um, I'm gonna say like harmful words. Be like, mm, never mind, just grab that rake and get going. Cause you really don't wanna know what I'm thinking right now, right? <laughs> And maybe you already did tell them once before. Maybe that's why they knew they were in trouble, right? That's why they're like, oh, no. Okay, guys. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.